Bucks in action. <laughs> There's Pro Tool reviews. <laughs> oh, you don't want me to carry it anymore? No, I really don't want to carry your beat. Healthy, 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 healthy. A lot of red. Okay. Jeffrey, where are you? I can't see you. Jeffrey, there you are, Jeff. Okay, Rick. I thought I saw Good you. Morning. Rick. Um, no, Rick yet? No. no, you. Rick, you're right there. Rick. Nicole. Nicole's on the other. Yeah, you three. Good. Okay, so I need to look for Travis and Olivia. Do you want? Okay, guys. Thank you. All right, so, thanks. Okay. <laughs> so, so, I'm not sure whether you've heard that we have, I think we're celebrating 80 years this year. And so, you know, innovation has been an important part of our life. Andreas, I would like to say, has been there from the beginning, maybe not quite, but you've been with us for a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. And, uh, <laughs> How would you call them? For me, it's treasures. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, of course. Whenever you fail in an attempt to innovate, you hopefully at least learn something. And we learned a lot. <laughs> Drill, cut, or whatever you want to do with a laser beacon. There goes our vision. And? We work hard. You know, we, we, we gathered again a team. We gathered a team of some internal scientists, Hope I'm sorry about that. You can say, we knew it has something to do with Renee because uh, she left yesterday and this morning. To invite you now, come down, join us here on the main floor. You have a possibility to have a look at the product and to ask any question that you may have. Instantly, there is more time, of course, tomorrow also. Um, down here on the floor, we also will be joined by two colleagues. Uh, my colleague Avi Khan, who is a member of the executive board responsible for the Americas and Asia, he's here. And also Martina Megaisek, our CEO of Hilton North America, she's also here and joins us now, so you can ask any launch-related, uh, rollout-related questions that you have to them. Now tomorrow, when we join, when you uh, come over to our premises in Liechtenstein, you then have a chance to really work with these tools 
and experience them yourself. We are confident that when you experience them yourself, that you at first hand will understand what we mean, that with Neuron we will make the daily life of our users more productive, less complex, and uh, more flexible, and I really hope also more fun. Thank you very much again for being here, for your interest in Hilti and I hope in Neuron, and uh, enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Finishing, you know, longer magazine, you know, because they, they just go faster. Okay. That one actually is a, is a great, is a great. Tool. And today you have actually also the gas and powder. Um, and uh, we are very confident this one would take you get around 75 tons. And it shoots in steel and copper. So I'm pretty sure they have. Right. 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 So guys, welcome to Hilti headquarters. So you you are now in your second country because now you're in Liechtenstein. And uh, yesterday you uh, you asked us where is the Hilti Kita kindergarten and where is what? And now. I have someone with me that's Kurt, and he is doing for you because we don't have not really time to show you go around, but we do a one a 360 uh, tour. <laughs> do it by ourselves. Okay. Hello, everybody from my side. Normally, I make some a tour here in the headquarters in the Hilti campus. They may need normally one, one thirty, one hours and thirty minutes. Today I can take two minutes. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I know. Same old, same old, different day. Squeeze. Sometimes I don't know how to take it. I just don't. Even though it's not 20 minutes. Not 20 minutes. How much? How long was it? About 30. About 35. 30, 30, 30, 35. Yeah. They lied. I just, I just think they just round. They just throw numbers. Hey. I think someone grabbed. Someone grabbed your thing back there. I think. What thing? So 
Hi, David. How you doing, sir? Hey, you good? You doing good? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> we're excited to uh, to welcome you. We won't have a chance to tour all those facilities, so we're going to try to make it really easy. You have guides for your whole day. You have your number now. You know who your guide is. Uh, they'll lead you to your first station, and they'll guide you throughout the day. If at any point you get yourself lost, uh, look for your team member or your number, or come to one of us. And we have a master schedule to make sure you get back on time. So, welcome everybody, and welcome to the fastening and driving and drilling station here. I am Matteo, I'm here with Trey, and we are really happy to be here today to show you all the innovation we are bringing to the market next year. So you have seen right this morning, yesterday night for the first time about, about Neuron, and, and you have seen and you heard a lot about how Neuron is bringing performance and especially productivity, right? And I'm really thrilled that we can put our hands on the tool and really experience that kind of productivity together. A flagship drill drivers, the SF6 and the SF4. We will try the driver screw gun, the SD5000, as well as our CAD tool, the SCO6 there. I want to leave an impression that man came to work. <laughs> we will ask everybody that do the show. You're a pioneer, Dave. You're a pioneer. Perfect. Feel better for than me. Let's see. Pedal switch. You got to get. Do you want to try this one? I do. Let him what? Oh, I don't know. Go next to mine right here because that's what I did. Let's see if you do this. <laughs> Welcome to the Pipes and Cable Station. We're excited to have you here. We talk on this station about our cordless hydraulic portfolio. <laughs> synchronized that we start making the noise together uh, that, yes. you know that's the reason uh, for this setup. Over that, yeah. yes. So today I'm very excited and proud to introduce you to the world's first cordless all-on-one platform safe set system. Well, let me do it quick. Ah, sure.
calculation, which means for that borehole geometry, it's here on number four. Now just go in and start triggering again. It's green, I'm still on the trigger, so it should be precise the amount of mortar we need. Let's have a check. Minimal waste. Exactly. Minimal and this is comparable to these ones where you always have to do an assessment as a trade man. Uh, is it enough? Is it not enough? Underfilling is not allowed because safety critical. And this saves up to 20% of mortar doing that in serial applications. close as you like. We're going to leave our mask off while we present, if that's okay. When we uh, work with you in the hands-on, in a minute we'll put ours on. But uh, yeah, great. Hope, hopefully you can hear us. Just feel free to come in close. David with Hilti, I'm going to be your, one of your presenters here today in the light concrete drilling and fastening station. We know that contractors don't just want to drill holes. They want to put something in the hole. In this case, it's going to be a mechanical anchor and we'll show you that complete system. I'm going to uh, turn it over to my colleagues for yep. a quick introduction. Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Sean. I'm the product manager for our impact range portfolio at Hyoti. And welcome. Hello, from my side as well. My name is Cynthia and I'm product manager for Mechanical Anchors. Yep. Perfect. Let's get started.
All right, thank you. Uh, I think that was a little bit more than 20% uh, improved performance, but we'll take it. Uh, if you need us to hold things or to help you with your videos in any way, yep. that's what we're here for. Uh, encourage you to start with the T6 on the left, move to the four, got the wrench on the right. Uh, actually, if, if you want to spread out and somebody yeah, takes exactly. the station, that probably works best. Uh, let's say I wanted yep. three inches in bed mat or two inches. I can set this no to the right <laughs> depth. And then uh, lastly, there is an attachment for this that will allow me to chip, you know, to do light chipping in concrete uh, rather than just drilling. I got you. Yeah. Yep. So with the Good. same time, I can chip. So, so a lot of improvements with that. Yes. With this dust removal system, yes. So the T6 has a chipping function. And yeah, there it is. So with the T6, I could turn it to chipping, put on that dust removal system, and a, a little piece on the end, it allows me to put in a chisel. It, it also is just, to your point, it's just more efficient, the new system, than it the, the predecessor. Far more and you efficient. saw that. We thought about trying to, you know, clean that up a little bit, but, you know, it also demonstrates the improvement, so. Uh. Yeah. Setting the speed and the performance to make sure we can set the anchor in a very efficient way. How many times? Do you know how many times a screw anchor can be used? I think it's more than no. ten. Or no, you always have to. It, you always it, have to it, check. It, but it depends the average. very much from the strength of the concrete yep. you are uh, driving the anchor, especially the screw anchor, because the the, princi the function principle is uh, self cutting into yep. the concrete, right? So as long as the thread has the right capability to uh, uh, grab into the concrete, then it's good to go. But it depends very much on the job site condition, that the size of the hole. Yep. If you use the, for example, worn out drill bits and therefore the hole is yep. a little bit smaller right. or high or low strength. Or if you're uh, into concrete, concrete in Florida versus Kansas City. Sure. Correct. 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 So this is the reason why we also developed the gods. Super. And yeah. this is helping you to assess if you can reduce the, the, the anchor itself. But I've been reviewing it for quite a while here and uh, no, none has been worked out. I really want an anchor that worked out so I can show you <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> but uh, I struggle. <laughs> but yeah, yes. Can I try? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> you can remove this one and then you can check whether you can reuse it or again or not. This is reverse, right? Yep. Maybe you have, maybe you have oh, to. You oh, did you, you gotta put it in reverse? I did. I thought. This is go. this is reverse. That's this reverse. is reverse. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's fast. And then you check uh, for our anchors we are introducing. You check here. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't go through, you can reuse this anchor. Oh, yes. That's awesome. That's very cool. Sure. Okay. Cool. I'll try to use this anchor to see how many. Drill. <laughs> this is one. Let's see this. Yep. Good. Now we have speed uh, one and two, and it's for smaller anchors if you have just one light on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I tried just, to see. Just yeah. <laughs> What Neuron is and, and the work that's gone into to bringing more than 70 new products to you. Um, I think this is a really exciting station, not only because you're outside in, in, in the beautiful mountains, um, I swear they're on both sides of us, um, but you really get to see what Neuron can do when we push it to the max. So today we're going to introduce you to, to two new products for us uh, where we've really done a lot of work to take a very heavy application and do that on our Neuron 22 volt platform. So again, this all-in-one platform continues. Uh, and what we're gonna introduce to you today is our DSA 600 battery cutter. Uh, this tool will replace gas, and, and my colleague Andreas will walk you through that 
and some of the innovation that has led to us being able to make those statements, as well as I will uh, introduce you to our TE2000 cordless breaker. Uh, so again, some really cool innovation for you. We'll spend about five to seven minutes going through the products and giving you kind of our high level overview with a quick demo. But really, if you'd like to, we'd like you to experience Neuron. So it's one thing seeing us do it, it's another thing for you to actually experience it for yourself. So we'll be here to either facilitate demonstrations or to help you get footage, whatever you need uh, to, to go back with. So with that, I'll turn it over to Andreas. Euron is to us the enabler to, to bring, let's say, a gas power technology to, to a battery power technology. And let's say you, you perfectly see the tool runs on, on, on twin batteries, on two batteries. That is, that is uh, how, we, how we match, let's say, the speed and the performance of, of a gas stove. And we are even up to 20% faster thanks to the combination of the tool and the blade, because the blade is an in-house development. It's our own facilities, it's our own production. And so we, we have a perfect match and we were able to, to combine both. Besides, let's say, the power, there is also the opportunity for, for customers to decide, let's say, which battery size they want to go for. So it's a 170 or the 255. Speed-wise, same, same. The only difference is that you get more runtime out of the bigger ones, about a third more than out of, out of these. Regarding runtime, that is often what we receive. If you look around, you see there the, the number five rebar. So with, the, with, with one set of the small batteries, of these batteries, we were able to do 60 cuts in a row continuously wow. until the batteries were empty. Yeah? And you see the CMUs here in the background. The, the, the back wall is about 45, 45 of the CMUs. And with the small batteries, you cut 30 of them. Um, with the bigger ones, it's 45. Then there's often the question about how, how do you get water supply? because some, some of the places you will not have water supply. So parallel to the two, we will launch a, a battery water tank, which, uh, runs a, which has four gallons of water and provides, let's say, uh, pressurized water to the device. I'm happy to switch on the gas so you can even try the gas so and you I mean, come on let's do that now because yeah, that's even, it's even better so and it's just the sound of music which you will get from it Big saw. Thank you. So, you say, why are you starting with a corded tool? Because I want to talk to you a little bit about a breaker category that we created in 2018 with our TE2000. So, uh, we launched this tool to be a precision breaker. So, you notice, first of all, that it's a very slim, compact design. It's very easy to move around. You notice that it's very slim on the front, very slim on the side. This tool also featured our, our AVR, which is active vibration reduction. Uh, and it really broke into a segment where I needed to do uh, trenching or I needed to cut very uh, precise squares in concrete or I needed to break a very precise area of concrete. So with that, we're really excited to launch our TE2000 cordless breaker. And this is our cordless precision breaker. So although it's a little bit bigger, uh, what you'll notice is, is that it still has the slim profile in the front, which allows me to see exactly what I'm doing either in front or behind. 
It also has a very slim profile to the side, so it's easy to move, maneuver around the job site. With this breaker, we make a bold claim that it gives you the same performance as its corded T2000. So the same performance, if not a little bit better, in a cordless breaker. We also bring this breaker at a very light weight for the cordless breaker category of, of just under 50 pounds, and that includes the batteries as well as the chisel. So a very light package that's easy to maneuver around the job site. And we do that with the user in mind, the, the, the worker or the tradesperson in mind, uh, and we bring AVR technology to this tool as well. So what does uh, active vibration reduction do? It lessens the fatigue on the worker and absorbs the vibration. So less vibration in the body, more energy transferred into the concrete. So to prove to you uh, that we do have a, a very good performing breaker that's on par, if not better, than its quartered counterpart, we're gonna do a race. But before I do that, I'd like to show you a completion of the system with our VC140 uh, cordless vacuum. So this is uh, a best-in-class vacuum. It's got one of the highest CFM ratings uh, for a cordless vacuum. It actually comes in at 140 CFM. Uh, it's got a two-gallon tank that's good for wet and dry applications, uh, as well as it's got some smart features such as Bluetooth that allows me to turn the tool on uh, with a, a Bluetooth indicator, as well as for cleaning, if I don't need 140 CFM, I can actually put it on an eco mode that reduces the suction so that I can run it longer for cleaning applications. So again, 140 CFM for those of you that are in North America uh, that, that have the silica dust regulation. Uh, this is good for up to five inch diameter cups and, and uh, like cutoff wheels, as well as our safe set applications for, for anchoring. So, good? You wanna see if this thing's actually as good as they say it is? Let's see the verses. because it's so fun so 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 it's, it's one thing to watch two guys in red coats go head to head uh, but of course we want you to experience neuron for yourselves and we'll press the button once and then press down on the tool to activate it you don't have to hold it down just press the button and press the
Now, not only what Neuron can do with traditional cordless tools, but also with tools that, that we imagine uh, uh, like heavy applications that can be done on the Neuron platform. And only Neuron makes this possible for us to go from an SID, an impact driver uh, on a 22 volt battery, all the way up to a, a cordless breaker uh, that has the same power as a corded tool, all the way to uh, a 622 that has the same performance as its, its gas counterpart. So thanks for spending some time. Of course, if there's additional footage or questions that you have or that comes up, uh, we'll be here during uh, your free break or free swim. Uh, so come back and see us. I'm Pasquale, I'm product manager for wood cutting tools. Um, and today I'm gonna to show you how Neuron brings performance on all our tools on one platform. <laughs> Um, and, and show you nine new tools uh, in the sewing category. So our former contractors tell us that they rip cut you know, wood boards or they cross cut two bys or four bys all day long. And for, for those applications what they want is a powerful tool um, to be able to you know, rip cut multiple layers of wood and what they don't want is a cord because it's you know, not, not versatile. Um, and, and that's what Neuron offers, so two things. One is better performance than 15 amp quarter tools, and second, um, up to twice the runtime per charge of industry top performers. And we offer that performance in two versions. Um, one is the worm drive style saw, and the second one is the side winder. Let's get started with the worm drive style saw. So here we have uh, brushless motor, seven and a quarter inch blade um, to make sure that we can go up to, we can cut through up to three layers of center three and a quarter inch board um, with under 12 pounds in weight and unique battery exchange mechanism. This tool is one of the fastest, lightest and most balanced tools in the category. Um, for those um, people in the trade who actually prefer blade ride orientation, we also offer a side winder. Um, also your brushless motor, seven and a quarter inch blade, rotatable dust port um, to ensure better dust extraction uh, and guide rail compatibility. Okay. And what blade is that? The universal blade? Yes. You do this up.
places. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it for the for, for, for filming. From that angle you were covering it with, with that hand you were covering it. So I, I Oh I gotta do it again. I like it though. That it is great though. It's on the side. Yeah. You know what? It's not a trigger. Oh man. All right. Let's see what the difference is. Um, just only be careful. You know, only maybe oh, yeah, one inch close to the edge. Yeah. I can move a little bit for you. Yeah, we get. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. And that is actually a, uh, an onboard solution for yeah for dust extraction. Is this is this detachable? Yes. You can do this. You can remove it, or you can keep it. Now, will this will that work on this as well? Will not. This will not, unfortunately, because yeah. Um, so this will sometimes be used also in this way. Yeah. Um, and so we prefer to have the bar center of the tool as close as possible to the base plate to make sure that the handling is right. And um, and so to reduce when reducing this distance, we lost the space for this one. I gotcha. Um, and yeah, but on this one we can uh, we can offer compatibility. I can show you one. Yeah. Can you show you one? Push it down. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. <laughs>
<laughs> but even even hanging exactly. off of that yeah. little thing, you're able to uh, you're able to manipulate it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I was trying to go for is be able to push it and prod so, it and it still cuts it. Yeah, and you can put some weight on it, right? Yeah, stuff I, mean, I, put a, all, I put almost all my weight on that. I mean, where was it? Tool pig went crazy. He was just going, couldn't, couldn't get to switch off. So it's it's a good tool. It really is a good tool. And finally, I, I want to leave you with a nice, calm mood. Uh, like an ASMR sort of exactly. situation. Exactly. So, so the idea here, stainless steel, steel, whatever you want to use, usually stainless steel for polishing. You wrap in this round and you're just gonna make it look sharp. Yeah, you wrap it in the solid up first and then wrap it round and. Do it all day, right? And then if yeah. you the different bands, you can put some polishing paste on it, you can make it up the mirror at the end. It's a lot of fun. The longer you do it, the nicer it looks. Starting? Oh, that's the battery. Maybe you need one. Yeah, it probably just needs to be taken ah, in and out. There you, there you go. I encrypted it for a change. For yeah, I got gotcha. you. Oh, it's a completely flush finish as well. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. That's it. Uh, do that one again. Yep. show you we will actually be doing two consecutive cuts in this one inch rebar in this one inch rebar yeah exactly. so Stefan has the 36 volt tool and I have the AG60 okay all right So you've seen, with our new AG6D, we are delivering 36 volt performance with a smaller package, 30% less weight, and on top, we've made it much safer tool with 10 specs and 3D editor. My name is Tony, I'm segment manager at the headquarters. 
and I'm Stephen. I'm the product manager for abrasive discs and all these nice accessories you see behind behind me. And today I'm supporting Tony with probably saving the best to last for you guys. The, the metal grinding, <laughs> cutting, and, uh, and finishing station. And we start with our compact angle grinder, the AG4S. This one is seven amps. It features the on-off lock switch and also the six-speed selector. And then secondly, we have our medium class AG5D. This is an eight amp uh, grinder, and this features the Fedman switch, which you know contractors and health and safety guys really appreciate. And finally, our superstar, the AG60. So that tool clearly features how we uh, how how we take seriously health and safety, and we do our best to maximize operator safety and also boost performance thanks to neuro. Contractors tell us that they want to make the job site safer and they're always looking for new ways. And when it comes to power tool, Angle Grinders is actually one of the top offenders. That's why on our new AG6D, we are bringing two unique safety features that will make this tool smarter and safer. Contractors on the job site tell us that they prefer lock-on switch because they have a thinner grip which is better for comfort, it's easier to hold it, and then it's better for ergonomics and help them to be more productive. But owners and leaders prefer dead man switch because it's safer, but it creates fatigue for the operator who constantly needs to push the trigger down, and it also makes the tool circumference bigger, which is worse for ergonomics and comfort. Contractors today must choose between comfort and safety. But the time for compromise is over. With Neuron, we will show you that we are bringing angle grinders to the next level. How it works, it's very simple. I will show it. So, the operator simply needs to hold the tool, then activate the tool. Whenever the tool, the sensors detect that the contact between the grip and the hand is lost, for example, if the operator is falling, tripping, and drop the tool, then the tool will automatically detect it, switch off, and how fast this brake will engage. That is amazing. Is it pressure or touch? It's touch. Okay. It's a capacitive sensor. Yeah. So that's not all we did, actually. What else did we do? So what we did inside that tool, we've built, we've bring uh, gyra sensors. Those sensors, they monitor, they're constantly monitoring the movement of the tool in all three dimensions. Whenever those sensors detect an abnormal or sudden movement in any direction, the tool will automatically switch off and our fastest brake will engage it. Now, I think you do a little slower. What if you do that a little slower? If you do it slower, most likely it will not engage okay. because actually what we are replicating is a kickback. Oh, okay. You know, and the kickback <laughs> happens yeah. rapidly yeah. and suddenly. 